Hello YouTube, Mr. Angus Wangus back. I've had some time to get back to my projects, thank goodness. And, uh, well, there's lots of things I want to do, but, <coughs> but, um, well, first of all, I wanted to say something. Um, I've had, <laughs> here kind of out of the blue, or maybe not, um, here very recently had, um, more than one person uh, PM me asking about uh, pulse motors, uh, Bedinis and things like that. And, and I presume that it has to do with the uh, pulse motor build off, which is cool. Um, and I've been answering questions, but uh, a couple people asked about forums, right? And um, I don't endorse any forums, or actually I, what, I endorse all forums, I should say. <laughs> I don't endorse any one specific forum. I endorse all of them. You know, go learn. Great place to learn. Um, all of them. I have nothing bad to say about any of them. But you know what? I'm, I'm a weirdo. I, <laughs> I'm the guy who doesn't go there. And anyone who's followed me knows that's how I am. And um, you know, it's just me. But anyways, I uh, just wanted to say that. Because if a couple people were PMing, PMing me asking that recently, then I'm presuming more people were wondering, maybe. I don't know, but I just wanted to make it clear. I don't endorse any one specific forum. I endorse all of them, right? And, um, yeah, great place to learn. So, anyways, just if anyone else was wondering that, I wanted to make that clear. So I've had time to um, get back at my projects, and I'm making a video of <laughs> a failure <laughs> and sort of this is sort of an update to say hey I'm back at it sort of thing as well but um, what I really wanted to try first of all I had this idea and I had these two pieces of laminated core they're chunks of a microwave oven transformer and they were both the same size and so I tested this one first with this little coil which happens to fit fairly well on these cores right but um, I wanted to sort of try because I had this idea that I could take two of the laminations and wrap them around the core like Ed did but it did, I, there's way too much of a gap there I think and um, it just there was no difference in the voltage. Here's the output. It gives like 20 milliamps. I think I'm not going to leave it shorted, shunted through there because it'll slow the wheel down. There's lens. And yeah, this is a regular setup. Um, I'm going to be uh, working with the U core and much more copper and resonance. Um, like I mentioned in my last vid, like Ed Leeds Gallon had those uh, variable capacitors and he's tuning for resonance right that's what they're used for and uh, anyways that's what I'm going to be getting into wanted to try this first and get it out of the way because it was well it turned out being more work than I thought but that's par for the course right? <laughs> with these kinds of things um, but I wanted to show um, what I had done and you know making a video of it not everything's a big success right but um wanted to make a quick video of that now uh, it's pulling about a watt about a watt under 0.8 or something like that oh one thing i had uploaded a video um i don't know a month ago or so and then i erased it uh right away um, I had my trailer hitch next here, which is spherical uh, compared to the square. Just to mention, uh, the square is much better for um, uh, slowing the wheel. There, I mean, I measured the RPMs at this input and then put the square, well, this one next to it, and measured it with an open circuit and it was you know uh, under the top speed with nothing next to it but the square is much better I'm, I'm seeing I think just wanted to mention that didn't want anybody thinking I was 
reinventing the wheel here, right? Everything has a purpose, right? So anyways, sort of a failure experiment, but wanted to show it. And I'm moving on from this, and I'm going to be switching this back over here. Uh, getting my U-Core and the bigger coils, and I have a bunch of little AC capacitors, and I'm going to have to try and find resonance. But uh, something you need to try, along with a lot of other things too. I want to incorporate the homopolar aspect of Ed's wheel as well. Still thinking about that heavy duty. And if anyone, I just want to mention, if anyone um, out there that watches my videos doesn't know, um, I'm a friend of a channel called Subsp Suspicious Observers, and we, uh, he has his website there, and I'm involved with that too, talking about science and comets and the solar system and everything like that, the weather and how it affects our Earth and electric universe theories and um, just wanted to mention to people if you haven't checked out that channel very interesting if you're interested in physical science physics anywho there you go a quick video of this failure and an update and that's it and I'm going to be uh, turning the camera off and dismantling and continuing on with uh, resonance and I'll have more vids more often now um, getting freer again so that's good uh, hello to everyone thanks for watching and uh, I'll talk to you later have a good weekend